Ten years after their love affair began, in the heat of the police's rise to fame, Sting and Trudy Styler were married before a judge on August 20th, 1992. Two days after the legal ceremony, their marriage was blessed in the church, and the wedding reception that followed became the scene of a spontaneous police reunion. We had the Trogs playing, they sang Wild Thing. The Trogs finished their set. The equipment was still up there. Miles came over and said, come on, Andy Stewart here, let's get up. Said, oh, come on, it's my wedding, I don't want to do that. All of our old friends, you know, um, were all there saying, come on, guys, come on, guys. You know, I had a few drinks by that time, and, you know, I was kind of happy. So I said, OK, let's, let's, do, let's go out and do Message in a Bottle, you know. And we all sort of went up arm in arm, and everybody gathered, oh, it's the police, they've reformed, you know. So I got like some little amp, you know, and like a guitar that was with a strap that put it down by my ankles, you know. I was not even worth talking about. For the first time in over six years, Sting, Stuart Copeland, and Andy Summer shared a stage and made music together. It was just like old times. And within four bars, I was scowling at Stuart, because, you know, speeding up a little bit. And his guitar was out of tune. I was scowling at him, and he, he'd forgotten the riff a little bit. And <laughs> we were back. <laughs> right back to all those places. All those little pressure points were right there. But at least at the, in our state uh, that we were in at that time, we were able to laugh over it. It was like putting on an old suit, you know. But uh, everybody loved it, and, you know, I'm glad we did it. But uh, we haven't played together since for some reason. Half a year after Sting's wedding and his momentary reunion with the police, Ten Summoner's Tales hit number two on both the U.S. and U.K. charts in the spring of 93. 